Well, we're, we're absolutely delighted with this amazing building, which is the next step for the community and the next step for the education of the children in that community. Um, it's got state-of-the-art facilities, it's beautifully finished, it's light and airy, it's warm, it's weatherproof, it's everything we've asked for and um, as you'll have seen on your walk about the school, the classrooms are all amazing, really big, um, with new, new projection facilities, new sound facilities, amazing views over the surrounding countryside um, and really fit for our students to learn in and our teachers to teach in. We're really delighted with where the library is in the new building. We wanted learning to be at the heart of the building, um, both in, in professional terms but also in architectural terms. And the library that goes right up through the centre of the building is um, a big spacious library, two computer rooms um, attached to it where students will be able to study after school. Yes. Um, and it's a beautiful yeah. space and really conducive to high quality learning out of lessons which is just as important as what goes on in the classroom. Um, so we know that our students when they're um, in the run up to exams they will have a space where they can work on the school site should they choose to do that. And we're also very pleased with the main school hall, St Christopher's Hall, which we'll be using for assemblies and for lunch times. And we're particularly pleased with that because of the size. It's about between two and three times the size of our um, old dining hall. It will accommodate at least twice as many students at lunchtime and it will be a great wet weather space. It's also a beautiful um, facility for showing films, for drama productions, for morning assemblies, for staff meetings and I'm sure when the community see that they will be as interested in using that part of our building as they have been in the all weather pitch and the sports hall. The old school was, was past its sell by date in being a building that you could actually um, support high quality teaching and learning with and the design of it actually worked against um, good, good quality teaching, high quality teaching I feel in terms of it being cold in the winter, too hot in the summer, uh, recently starting to leak uh, as well and there is no comparison between the facilities we're now occupying and, and children and staff have managed extremely well in the old building, we've never made it an excuse for anything, we've worked with it to the best of our ability but there's absolutely no doubt that the, the environment that we are in now provides us with an amazing opportunity to build on the achievements of last year with our good Ofsted inspection and our good Siam's inspection. We'll now have facilities to match what we know our students and staff are capable of. I think, I think a lot of thank yous really. I, I want to say a huge thank you to our um, the education funding agency who's funded the build and BAM who's built the building but also to our staff and students for the very mature way in which they've dealt with half of our school site being a building site. Um, as I said, it's never been used as an excuse for not um, giving the children very high quality teaching. The children have not used it as an excuse to misbehave. Our behaviour at the school is really good. And it's just absolutely fantastic to be able to move that school community into this facility. Our business manager, um, Julie McCarthy, has done an amazing job of managing the project on behalf of the school really well supported by her site staff from Norse who have worked tirelessly to make sure that we've had a smooth move which we have. The Education Funding Agency said it's one of the least problematic building projects they've ever, ever done on a school. And I think that's a tribute to staff, students and our wider community for just getting on with the day job.